To stop Russia's aggression, Elon Musk has finally come up with an outstanding and unmatched antidote, AI-guided hypersonic missile. This is going to beat Russia within a blink of an eye. So exactly how powerful is this? And how is it going to beat Russia? We're going to talk about a hypersonic AI-guided missile released by Elon Musk that will beat Russia. Even though AI in war isn't currently being used in Ukraine, it might be shortly. The US, China, Russia, the UK, Israel, and Turkey are all working on AI-enabled weapons that can shoot to kill without involving humans in the decision-making process. The appeal of killer robots and self-driving cars is undeniable. Using them to perform the dirty job eliminates the need for valued soldiers to die and expensive pilots to fly expensive equipment. Replacing human warriors with robots is both faster and less expensive than replacing them, as well as having a reduced political cost. Even if there are genuine moral ramifications, refusing to utilize AI on the battlefield will become equivalent to a bad economic decision. To counter Russian aggression, the Pentagon is developing and deploying artificial intelligence-driven hypersonic capabilities. Because of this, they called for the help of none other than Elon Musk. Musk is well known for his engineering prowess and technical excellence. He's an expert in his area. In terms of enterprises like SpaceX, he will leave a legacy that no one could have predicted, even U.S. government officials. So first, let's define a hypersonic missile. AI-driven. The terms hypersonic weaponry and hypersonic cruise missiles relate to two different types of missile technology. The fundamental difference between these systems is how they create thrusts to reach far-off objectives. Gliding vehicles are coupled to rocket boosters similar to those used to launch spacecraft in these missiles. Fuel and chemical oxidizers are among the propellants used in these boosters. When the propellant runs out, the interaction between these components releases a lot of energy which speeds up the missile. The rocket detaches from the glider and falls back to Earth after a few minutes of flight. Instead of humans, the entire process is controlled by intelligent and well-trained artificial intelligence. Multiple rocket stages separate consecutively from many missiles. The glider continues to fly unassisted towards its destination. Gliders create lift and maneuver during aerodynamic forces, although they don't have engines or propellants and can generate extra push. Because Boost Glide weapons rocket boosters don't last very long, they can be extremely hefty and large. Boost Glide weapons, which use huge rockets, may reach speeds of more than 20 times the speed of sound, making them the fastest hypersonic weapons available, along with hypersonic cruise missiles. The engine is kept running the entire time. As a result, the missile's engines must be compact and light, restricting their maximum speed. Hypersonic cruise missiles, on the other hand, may move up to 10 times the speed of sound, making them much slower than Boost Glide weapons. Now let's look at why the U.S. is developing an AI-controlled hypersonic missile with the aid of Elon Musk after Lockheed Martin's experimental air-launched missile failed three times in a row. The U.S. may not be able to catch up to China and Russia in terms of hypersonic weapons development. It calls into question the Pentagon's objective of labeling it the country's first combat-ready hypersonic AI-guided weapon by September 30 and allowing its maiden manufacturing. China and Russia have both tested new weapons that can move at five times the speed of sound and maneuver like cruise missiles in flight making them difficult to shoot down. Before it can be considered early operability ready, the U.S. weapon is projected to cost at least $1.4 billion. The Air Force hasn't revealed a complete procurement cost number, but passing the booster motor's fourth and fifth test is the next obstacle. The scheduling of these tests, according to Elon Musk, would be determined by the conclusions of a failure review board for the third test, whenever the tests come back positive. Between July and September, a fully working missile will be tested in the air. Lockheed's capacity to build and integrate hardware has also been assessed through a production readiness review. According to Elon Musk, a hypersonic AI-guided air launch quick reaction weapon is a fast-track program meant to cut development and deployment time to keep up with adversaries' rapid advances. It's designed to be dropped from a B-52H and propelled forward by its booster motor before separating into two solid glide bodies and flying at hypersonic speeds to its target. Russia launched a hypersonic missile last month as a message to the US and NATO partners. Sergei Shoigu believes that hypersonic AI-driven weapons will be the future key to Russia's non-nuclear deterrent capability. According to the U.S., Russia has deployed an advanced hypersonic AI-guided glider and a Sircon hypersonic AI-guided missile. China is also investing substantially in AI-controlled hypersonic weapons, according to Elon Musk, and one traveled 25,000 miles in over 100 minutes in July with no oversight from politicians or the public. Under the Pentagon's procurement system, China and Russia may proceed with new weapons development without delaying testing and deployment. Heidi Shayu, the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, indicated through a spokeswoman that she supports the Air Force's aggressive development efforts, but that the latest operational capability date is unrealistic. On the declaration date program, the Air Force is similarly hedging its bets. Officials stated that they are working hard to achieve early operating capability while keeping high technical standards. Although testing has so far failed, it is still viable to give each capability by the end of 2022. 
Several firsts have been demonstrated throughout the flight test program. The head of the House subcommittee is in charge of monitoring the program in particular. He doubts the Air Force's ability to fulfill its target this year. The United States, according to Tennessee Democratic Rep Jim Cooper, has a lot of catching up to do with China. To achieve parity, the Pentagon's AI-guided hypersonic endeavor will require a large number of money, engineering expertise, and speedy testing. Cooper, though, is concerned that the U.S. will not be able to catch up, especially given recent missile program failures. Cooper said the manufacturing decision for the first 12 missiles is on hold, pending the findings of the December failure review, the two more booster motor tests, and the full missile flight. As a result, their only chance was none other than tech wizard Elon Musk, who now has to work with his team to achieve this aim. Recent disclosures have demonstrated this development. Musk has made headway by completing the delivery of the prototype hardware for the LRHW system, also known as Dark Eagle, a long-range AI-controlled hypersonic weapon. The project, known as Cannon Delivered Area Effects Munition, is overseen by the U.S. Army. The LRHW ground equipment was sent without missiles, but with a battery operation center for transporter, erector launchers, and modified vehicles and trailers. In the fiscal year 2023, the Army expects to deploy the first battery, which will comprise missiles. Lieutenant General Neil Thurgood, head of the Critical Technologies Office, stated in a news release that today is a significant step towards supplying our country with the first AI-guided hypersonic battery. Older people may now begin training, he noted. The Army unit would also take part in a series of planned flight tests, he added, as part of the LRHW system is the common hypersonic glide body, known as the conventional prompt strike or CPS system, which is shared with the Navy for at-sea-launched hypersonic weapons capabilities. It will begin operations in the fiscal year 2025. In March 2020, the two services performed a combined test of the system. Musk also completed three successful tests in Virginia of sophisticated AI-controlled hypersonic technology capabilities and prototype systems, according to Reuters. In 2019, Musk has made the fast deployment of AI-driven hypersonic weapons a top priority. Supporters of Autonomous Deadly Force say that AI-controlled robots may end up being significantly more moral than humans. Are humans more moral if they can train robots to avoid the human psyche's flaws? Is it preferable to rely on a robot warrior's cold reasoning rather than an emotional human being? What if a non-state terrorist group creates lethal robots that provide them a tactical edge on the battlefield? Is this a risk the world should be ready to accept to help them develop? Decisions made by AI are made far too rapidly for humans to rectify. As a result, disastrous errors are unavoidable. Automated systems have delivered false information on various occasions, including a well-known 1979 event which human operators refuted barely in time to escape a nuclear exchange. A complete prohibition on AI-based technology would have been ideal, but it is currently both impractical and ineffective. In its 2019 military parade, Moscow unveiled the cutting-edge hypersonic glide vehicle, while Beijing unveiled a ballistic missile capable of carrying a hypersonic glide vehicle as well. China launched a nuclear-capable hypersonic glide vehicle in low orbit around the world in the summer of 2021, according to U.S. intelligence sources. As a country, the U.S. has acquired a significant early lead, which it has turned into a national campaign to shock and scare China and Russia while moving forward across the industrial base and services. So following an agreement with the U.S. Air Force, Musk has made significant alterations. It is evident from what has been presented here that anyone can do something no one has ever dreamed was feasible with a great idea, amazing abilities, and a team of great brains. Musk is the type of individual who falls within this category. That's all there is to it. Okay, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.